Casey Neistat, you are an inspiration to a whole new generation of filmmakers. But this is not just a tribute to you. There's a few of the references in here as well. I hope you can spot them all. You see those little black machines? They're called cameras. I'm going to let you into a little secret about those cameras. They're not going to film themselves, okay? Without you, they're just worthless hunks of metal. In the case of the camera, it's up to each and every one of you, my highly trained nice tats, who will do more, who will work harder, and who will not put the camera down until they have every shot needed to make it count. No, so let's go out there and make some YouTube! As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a nice stat. I was hooked from the first time I saw him. Casey Neistat. Even the name sounded cool. I'd spend hours watching his films, studying the technique, wanting to be everything like him. And I tried, I really did, but it's hard work filming on your own. So I gave myself one focus in life, to be just like Casey. It wasn't gonna be easy, but it's something I had to do. So I enrolled in this film school, a kind of underground movement. A school that taught filmmaking the Casey Neistat way. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to film school. Now the first rule of film school is you do not have to attend film school. Second rule of film school, you do not need to attend film school. Third rule of film school, it's not about the gear. Everyone was here to learn one thing, how to be like Casey Neistat. To them, nothing else mattered. In order to graduate, you have to be able to beam. You are no longer black or brown, yellow or red. You are now green, light green, beam green. Do you understand? Sir, yes sir. We became an army, Casey's army, capturing our world in four second moments. And every day, at precisely the same time, we'd all wait. Every day a new film, every day a new idea, a new insight to a lifestyle we all wanted. But watching was not enough. We needed to make something, but we were all struggling. Are you enjoying watching your little film? You think those ideas of yours are going to make themselves? Let's talk about something important. A, B, F, A, always B, B, F, filming. Always be filming. Always be filming. And then the training really began. The constant filming of our lives. The skateboarding, the taxi rides, every journey to work. Mail time. Hell yeah! The endless time lapses, diagrams, writing on our hands, writing on everything we own. Always battling with the drone. We were never on time, always running late, too busy filming our lives incessantly. I'm doing my first vlog jog. It was exhausting. It's one mile done, and I feel not so great. How does he do this? Yet every day, Casey knocked the bar higher and higher, forcing us to work harder and harder just to keep up. Up in the morning with the rising sun. Up in the morning with the rising sun. Gonna feel more day till the filming's done. Gonna feel more day till the filming's done. I don't want no teenage queen. I don't want no teenage queen. 
I just want my phone to beam. I just want my phone to beam. And the hard work never stopped with the filming. We had to edit late into the night. A little trouble there. Um, make a cut just there. Five, six and. Not quite Casey's tempo. Um, make a cut here. Being Casey Neistat was hard work. So here I was, graduating. I'd finally become a Neistat. Congratulations. This was everything I had dreamed of. I should be over the moon right now, but something wasn't right. This wasn't right. I got this meeting that I'm going to right now. I'm really psyched to get this electric skateboard, you know. And you can grow the tomatoes for your pasta exactly out there. We'd all set out to become just like Casey, but now everyone was being Casey. None of us stood out. No one was being unique. No one was being themselves. And I realized I no longer wanted to be Casey anymore. I wanted to be me. The truth is, there's only one Casey Neistat. So why try and be just like him? I've got my own ideas. And I can't wait to show the world what I can do. Thank you guys for coming. I couldn't do this on my own. I work on a drone, what's the worst that could happen? Nice. Ah! Don't let your hands over me to you do! I think a bit of weed came out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>